Well, amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church. This is Pastor Wiggins. I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is alive and he is not dead. And we thank God for his generosity and his grace toward us. We thank you that his mercies are new every morning. And so we praise God for your um, praying along with us and partnering with us in prayer. Listen, all month long, we're praying about living the abundant life. And so each day we just read a passage of scripture that reminds us that God does, in fact, want us to live a life of abundance. Not so that we can consume material goods upon our own lust, fleshly desires, but Jesus said he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly so that when we have people that are we around that are in need, when God meets more than our needs and gives us more than enough, it's so that we can be a blessing to other people. And when other people have uh, things that we need, they too would be a blessing to us. And so we want to tap into that life. We want to be um, about what God is about. And so each day we read a passage of scripture that helps to remind us of what it means to live life in his abundance. And so here today, day 14, we're in 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 16 and 17. 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 16 and 17 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what verse 16 says. O Lord, our God, all this abundance that we have prepared to build you a house for your holy name is from your hand and is all your own. I know also, my God, that you test the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. As for me, in the uprightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things. And now with joy, I have seen your people who are present here to offer willingly to you. Amen. Today, we want to pray for two things. One, we want to simply thank God for his abundant generosity toward us. We want to thank God for his abundant generosity toward us. And then secondly, we want to pray that we would offer our gifts in abundance to him and that we would do it willingly. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we've gathered together in our separate places of prayer, communion with you, but we've gathered together in the name of Jesus. And you told us that in when two or three are gathered together in the name of Jesus, there you would be in the midst. So we welcome you in this time of prayer. Lord, wherever someone may sit, stand, or lay, I pray they would experience your presence right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that you are from everlasting to everlasting, that you are omnipresent. You are everywhere at the same time. And I thank you that you can hear all of us when we pray, that your ear is not slack, it's not slow or hard of hearing, but you hear each and every one of our requests. And our request today is that you would search our hearts. And if there's anything that is not like you or not pleasing in your sight, that, Lord God, through the person of your Holy Spirit, you would convict us individually about that sin and about those sinful ways and that we would confess those sins to you. And according to 1 John 1 and 9, you would cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Do it now, Lord Jesus. We want to be right in your sight. You told us, O oh God, that you wouldn't hear us if we regarded iniquity in our hearts. And we want you to hear us when we pray today. Lord, our prayer today, and we thank you for the forgiveness that can only come from Jesus Christ. Our prayer today is, God, we are thankful for your abundant generosity toward us. God, whatever you allow us to hold temporarily in our hands, we know it comes from you and it belongs to you. The money that we have in our hand or in our pockets or purses or pocketbooks or in our wallets or in our cash apps or on our phone, in our accounts, in our banks or under our pillows, wherever we keep it, Lord, we know that we are but stewards over it. We're but managers, but you are the owner. It all belongs to you. And so we bless you, God, for whatever level of generosity you have bestowed upon us. For we came in this world without anything and we'll leave out without anything because whatever we have, it belongs to you. So we thank you for your generosity toward us. We thank you for your abundant grace toward us. We give you praise and honor and glory for it. And we pray, Lord God, that as we understand that it all belongs to you and you've been generous to us, that we too would offer our gifts in abundance with willing hearts back to you. Lord, as we gather and worship at our various houses of worship, Lord, in the 
pastor or the leader asks for the offering to come, let us rejoicefully give and let us give with rejoiceful hearts because you, first of all, have been good to us and been generous to us, and we just get an opportunity to be able to be generous back to you. Lord, when you send people in our pathway for us to bless, let us not bless them begrudgingly or bless them with a bad attitude, but let us be cheerful, happy, hilarious givers. For you said in your word that you love a happy, cheerful, hilarious giver. So, Lord God, we see, we, we freely receive and we freely give what we have received. Lord, you've been great and you've been gracious and you've been generous to us. And for that, God, we are eternally grateful. So we thank you for this life. We thank you for eternal life in the name of Jesus. We thank you for forgiveness of sin, for the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus, for his blood being shed, for the remission of our sins. We thank you for eternal life in his name, and we thank you for abundance not only in this life, but in the life to come. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, today is day number 14 of us praying about the abundant life. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.